Today in the Ray Garage, we show you how to install a timing cover the right way. To ensure you get the best value out of this video, we are referencing the SA Designs How to Rebuild GM LS Series Engines. There's over 600 step-by-step -step photos in this book. And if you're looking for any information on how to rebuild a GM LS Series engine right, this is the book for you. So after ensuring that our surfaces are all clean, we're going to go ahead, throw the gasket, install the bolts just loosely at this point as we need to install a couple alignment tools to make sure the timing cover is right where it needs to be before we go ahead and tighten everything down. All right, you see how this can now wiggle around? That's exactly what we want because we need to align this now so that way we get a good seal around our crankshaft and it's in the right spot so we don't have any issues with leaking on our oil pan. We're using some alignment tools, but you can get away with not using these by installing your harmonic balancer before you torque these bolts down. But you do need to ensure that your top surface here is within a certain tolerance of your oil pan surface, and we'll show you how to do that at the end. Now, depending on the alignment tool you get, you may or may not need to install your front seal. In our case, we install the timing cover naked and install the seal later. A little oil around here slide in there and then we will just hold this in place by putting our crank bolt on it just hand tight next we're going to install our oil pan alignment tool for some reason i couldn't get what i needed in these bolts so i have to add, add a couple washers <laughs> all right now this timing cover lined up Time to get things torqued down. So the correct torque for these is 18 foot pounds. Now we need to take this alignment tool off and double check to make sure we have the right clearance. If you want to see what this engine's going in, click the link in the upper right. Regardless of what tools you used to align your timing cover, the final step is to use a combination square and a feeler gauge to ensure that the surface of the timing cover is within 20 thousandths of the surface of your oil pan. 2.5 thou fits and three dozen. All right, six fits, seven does not. We're good. That right there is how you install the timing chain cover on a 5.3 Vortec. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on next week's episode. Man, that looks sweet. I don't know if you guys noticed these, uh, what are these here for, huh?